Hi, I'm Mike, and this is a Forsaken Trails product review. Today we're going to be talking about really part two of our backcountry power solution, and that's the Brunton Solaris 26, which is a foldable solar panel array. The Brunton has a maximum power output of a, about 15.4 volts and 1.6 amps. That's assuming you've got plenty of sun, of course. Uh, the best part about the Brunton is that it's, well, it's really light. It's about 1.7 pounds, and it's extremely flexible. It's made out of a kind of rubberized nylon material. The Brunton comes with a nice little carrying bag and several different types of power connectors, so we can directly charge a, a lead-acid battery, for example, or we've got a kind of standard automotive cigarette lighter type plug, and some different size tips for charging electronic devices. Uh, folded, the Brunton measures about 8 inches by 12 inches, and it's about an inch thick, so it's fairly small and really indestructible, so you can throw it in your pack and don't have to worry about damaging it. Uh, unfolded, the Brunton measures 22 inches by 38 inches, which is fairly large. If you're going to charge some smaller devices, maybe a cell phone, you can actually fold it in half and only expose just a few of the panels for those lower voltage devices. Uh, to use the Brunton, you simply lay it out. You can either lay it out flat in the sun if the sun's directly overhead, or each corner has a grommet so you can maybe tie it to a tree to, to get that proper angle to the sun. The connectors are on this end, so we just select the, the appropriate power dongle that we like, plug it in, and we can plug our the device we want to charge in. In this case, I'm using the, the Tekion that you saw in the last segment. Now, the Tekion actually likes about 19 volts to charge, but on their website, they actually recommend this solution, that if you've got a solar panel that's about that's 25 watts or more, you can plug it directly in and charge. And, and if I do, we've got the green light there that says it's actually charging. Um, you know, for expensive devices like my laptop, I'm always a little bit afraid to plug it directly in, just because the, the voltage on a solar panel can fluctuate quite, quite a lot. And I'm not sure exactly what type of voltage conversion hardware and electronics are in here. And, you know, I just don't want to burn it up. Uh, but smaller and cheaper devices, I have no problem just plugging right in and charging. Works really good. You know, a few issues I have, and it's, you know, it's not with the Brunton uh, in particular, uh, just solar panels in general, is that they're, you know, they're not terribly efficient, they're large, um, they're expensive, uh, and you really have to maintain that proper angle to the sun to maximize the efficiency of the system. And as the temperature goes up, the voltage output goes down sometimes quite dramatically, so just keep those things in mind. But really, I mean, when you're out here, there's no other solution. And this actually works pretty good for my smaller electronic devices. So if you have any questions or comments, as always, you can reach me at mike at forsakentrails.com. Thanks for watching.